All right, people, the time has come. We are ready to take on the Elite Four. And by ready, I'm not really that ready, but I mean, this is kind of, this is the best I can do. We're gonna go through a team recap and then we're gonna hop right into it and hopefully, you know, win. But I'm gonna, you know, not have my hopes high because who knows, anyway. Uh, so here's the team we're working with. First of all, we got Infernape. This thing has, I gave it Grass Knot just to have some coverage against Bertha if we need it. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's just standard Infernape. Next up is Gyarados. I finally got rid of Thunderbolt on the guy. He now has Ice Fang uh, to potentially help us out with the Garchomp, which is going to outspeed everything. So I don't know how that's going to work, but, you know, it's a pretty solid Gyarados uh, moveset. Next up is Crobat. Now, this thing is more physical oriented, so we gave it Pluck. It's got, it's working with a little bit more physical attack. So we have Pluck. Also, that should help us out in terms of kind of plucking out some berries. So that should be kind of nice. Uh, I also have Tailwind on the off chance that I'm able to set that up to be able to then outspeed some stuff later. So fingers crossed on that one. Next up is Obama Snow. This thing is rocking the Ice Shard. Got that clean priority, even though the Garchomp has a Yachi Berry. So maybe, I don't know. Um, but other than that, this thing is going to help with uh, with a few members, so Obama Snow is kind of fun. Then we've got Gastrodon. One of my favorites, probably. This thing is impossible to kill. It's got Earth Power, Recover, Scald, and Ice Beam. I really like that it has the Reliable Recovery. Uh, that right there is my Slug. And, of course, we've got the Reese's Puff. This thing, you know, it really is just going to spam Earthquake. It's also just really nice to have around because of the fact that it has Sturdy, so that's kind of nice. And uh, that is the squad. I'm rocking uh, Fist Plate, a couple of Citrus Berries, um, we've got the Ice Plate, Leftovers, and I gave a Quick Claw <laughs> to Golem, so maybe that'll help out. Honestly, I have no idea. But obviously first member is going to be Aaron, the freaking bug guy, so we're going to leave Infernape in front and pretty much just go, just go give it our best shot in here. I am nervous, but I think that, I think I have some plays in mind that can help us out. I mean, if all goes correctly, I think we have a chance. What is up? Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. To do so, I need to examine the gym badges gathered from around Sinnoh. Warburg City's Coal Badge, Eternity City's Forest Badge. So yeah, they're just checking out my badges. You know, open up my super cool badge case. And uh, we're in. I've heard that this actually, this badge check doesn't actually even check if you have it, so a lot of the speedrunners are able to get through this without even having the badges, but... I think it's time to pretty much get in there. I do have some recovery items. I'm working with, uh, mostly some energy powders. I have 25 energy powders, some heal powders, and I also have, like, some other stuff as well. So, we should be okay with that, so... Let's get on in here, boys. It's time. Go up the cool little elevator. The music is all intense. I think the first... The first member, first couple members, we should be okay. Um, Lucian is where I start to get pretty afraid, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's triple check that Infernape is in front and ready to flamethrow some hose. Let's get it. The music is nice. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. I should explain I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty, mean, and yet they're beautiful too. I like how this guy has a Drapion, and he's not even a bug type anymore. It's not fair. A lot of the Elite Four members don't even have their types, especially freaking Flint. Yeah, I think he has like two fire types. I don't know, so let's see how this goes. First Elite Four member, as long as I can hang on to my team for as long as I can, we'll, <laughs> we'll be okay. Uh, lead Dust Ducks. Now, Infernape should just be able to outspeed this thing and kill it with a flamethrower, so I'm not too super afraid of this, so. Level 53. We are level capped at 63, like I mentioned before. Um, you level cap based off of the fourth member's highest mon, which is Lucian, and his is 63. So, you will also notice, after we're able to just destroy that, uh, that their moth, that everybody was also very close to being 64. Now, that <laughs> is intentional in that I need literally every bit of help that I can get, and so I leveled them, like, almost to 64. So, <laughs> maybe that'll play off for me. I don't know. Anyway, in comes Heracross. Heracross is scary because, yeah, this thing definitely has Earthquake for me, and I should probably... What I can do is just switch into Frosted Flake as it goes for an Earthquake here, and then likely just kill it with a Pluck. I know this thing also probably... It definitely has Rock Coverage as well. So... Switching into the Flakester here, and there's no reason for this thing not to go for Earthquake, right? 
I mean, we're pretty much fine. Yeah, this this first one, at least we have... Yeah, it does go for the earthquake. So, it also has Flame Orb. Activates that because it does have Guts. So that's... They all have very competitive movesets and stuff. Interesting. All right. We just go for the pluck. And that brought... There's a dead Heracross. Okay. I'm getting the... I'm getting the, um the affection thing from my Pokemon, which is extremely annoying. I really wish it wasn't doing that, but I tried to feed them as many energy roots and stuff as possible, so hopefully we don't get any scenarios where Pokemon live things that they're not supposed to. I don't know. Anyway, next up is Beautifly. I'm probably... I was kind of planning on Infernape doing the most of this, but I might even just... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let Crobat do it. Another thing to think about is EXP management. Like, there's certain Pokemon that I would prefer to be higher levels by the end of it. But, I mean, we'll take we'll take kills when we can get them. So, that takes care of Beautifly. Right to 64. Nice. Next is a Vespiquen. I don't see any scenario where Vespiquen can literally do anything to me. So, we just give you a little Pluckaroo as well. And it, it does about, you know, two hit KO. That's fine. Oh, if you're wondering what that sound is... <laughs> That's an alert. Thank you very much for the resub for the Obama. six months. Appreciate yeah. you. Um, okay, Crobat is absolutely just destroying these here bugs. Down goes the Vespaquen. Easy. G Fuel for the big brain plays. Nice. Okay, uh, this is where it gets a little bit scary, is with this Drapion. So... Drapion is rocking. Obviously, its ability to sniper increases critical hit ratio, and also it has uh, increased crit item as well. So that is quite scary. This thing's rocking with Cross Poison, Night Slash, Earthquake, and X Scissor. So, what is my best method of attack here? I mean, it can't actually. It doesn't have anything super effective against me. It's best play against Crobat is going for just the crit Night Slash. So what I'm going to do is stay in and pluck. Now I was considering even going into... Okay, that does no damage at all. And it crits me, of course it does. But we got that Citrus. And what that allows me to do is safely take another one. So that's pretty cool. Let's... uh. Hmm. So the play here is probably to go for... This is another pluck for damage. I could also even set up a Tailwind. Now, I don't know if that's entirely necessary. I think this thing has... Well, actually, it might be necessary. I don't think... Gyarados could technically come in here. Intimidate it. I mean, Intimidate doesn't matter when you're getting critical hits, though. Shit. Hmm. Why is Drapion such a bitch? What I could do is I could just go for the pluck, get some more damage off on it, then bring in Pebbles, and then a close combat should kill. Um, Pebbles does outspeed this thing, so... I think that's what we planned for. We're pretty much safe here on Frosted Flake. We're going for a pluck. He's gonna definitely just continue to go for the Night Slash. We get it down to half. Oh my god. Just avoided the move via my shout. Crobat. What the hell have I been feeding you these roots for? <laughs> Bro. It doesn't matter because even a crit wouldn't have killed me there. Um, but that's frustrating. Let's, uh, let's switch into Infernape here. And then we'll be able to outspeed and kill it with a close combat. I think that's the plan. I think that's the play. I really wish you didn't love me so much, Crobat. <laughs> At least after this, I'll be able to feed you a root, so that'll be good. Affection is so trash. God. Okay, there's the Night Slash. Um, yeah, it does nothing, so. Now, what this thing would have to do to me uh, for the most damage would be Earthquake, but a close combat definitely kills at this range. So we do outspeed. Fun fact, I think we actually outspeed that thing by like one point. But that takes care of the Drapion, so whatever. 
I'm being extra safe here because I need to ensure that my team doesn't get destroyed before any of the actually important ones. So that takes care of uh, bug fella. We get our seven thousand dollars and we on our way. We're also the most beautiful and toughest of the bug Pokemon. You didn't even have a Scizor. This guy's a phony. So into the next room we go. Um, we will be feeding some of them some of them herbs. So yeah, the idea is to just literally feed energy powders so that they hate me. But they still end up lagging me anyway. It's kind of a struggle. Luckily I'm able to give two to Crobat, so hopefully no more affection hacks. That actually didn't affect the battle at all, which I'm happy about, so that's good. So what's the plan? The plan of attack for the next member. Next up we have Bertha. She's got Quagsire, Sudowoodo, Golem, Whiskash, and Hippowdon. Uh, luckily, even though I lost my Roserade, I do still have a Grass type. Uh, losing Roserade before we did the Elite Four was a real, a real bummer. I lost that on the very last freaking gym. But we're gonna lead with Frosted Wheat here, and I believe Grass Knot should be able to take out the Quagsire that they lead with. Uh, other than that, it's kind of scary against like the Sudowoodo and stuff. So we'll have to kind of develop a plan as that goes. But let's head into the old next room. We're feeling confident. We got a nice little dub under our belts. Nobody's dead yet. This is great. What up, Big Bertha? All right, Big Berth, you ready to feel the girth of this abomasna? <laughs> will you show this old lady how much you've learned? I sure will, old lady. Uh, so, Elite Four member number two, Numero Dos. Let's let's keep let's keep that energy from the first one and hope that we can get through this. I think I have a pretty set up team for this, so I think we'll be okay. We have two water types, so lead Quagsire, and this thing definitely just goes down to a grass knot. Um, it's actually really unfortunate in this game. Freaking Obama's note does not get any good physical grass moves. So that really sucks because this one's definitely physical oriented. But I think with grass knot we'll probably be okay. So I set up the hail. The hail is actually kind of important for potential for um, breaking the sturdy on the golem. If it's in while the hail is, who knows? Um, but let's go for the grass knot here. We do out speed. We just tickle this guy with some grass. And it's a dead Quagsire, so. One down, very nice. I could also set up the Aurora Veil. I just don't know. See, as now Sudowoodo comes in, I'm probably going to get uh, get absolutely head smashed into fucking Oblivion here. So I think we switch into Crave. Uh, Crave comes in, takes a move nicely, and then I, can, uh, then I can scare it with Scalds. And also, I don't have to worry because I can also recover on this thing. I just want to make sure I maintain HP on this Gastron, so let's see what happens here. Does go for the head smash, unfortunately does hit, and that still does a lot of damage. Hmm. And the hail kind of sucks. Now, if this happens to crit me, I will literally cry. But I have the leftovers, which is nice, so it kind of negates, negates the hail damage, so we're in pretty good shape. Either I go for the Scald or go for the Recover here. Head Smash isn't a guaranteed hit, but it's not probably not worth I'm just gonna go right for a nice little Scald here, throw some hot water at the tree, and hopefully burn, please burn. Oh no, it just kills it, no, that's fine. Okay. Gastrodon, faster, nice. All right, tree crisis averted as well. You love to see it. Also, please Gastrodon, I need, I really need you to cooperate for this pretty much entire Elite Four. All right, in comes Whiskash. She doesn't really have anything for Gastrodon. Unfortunately, this thing is Sticky Hold rather than freaking what the uh, Storm Drain, so it still can hit me with water moves. But I don't think Whiskash really has anything to hit me with. It is, if it decides to, like, bulldoze here, I could go into one of my flyers. Um, I could probably just switch right back into Frosted Wheat. That could be nice, but then by the time the golem comes out, I, I, I almost need to get in Frosted Wheat after the hail already goes away. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. He's not gonna click Ice Beam against this thing. He's either gonna go for like a Hydro Pump or an or a Bulldoze. I'm gonna switch into Frosted Flake because I think the hail goes away here in a, in a turn or two. Let's see, I think it's actually, I think it's this turn the hail goes away. I actually was not counting this, but. It does go for the Bulldoze, does not affect Frosted Flake. I do take the Hail Buffet, and so that's annoying, but either, hmm, 
I was kind of hoping that the hail was going to get... So it's definitely next turn that the hail goes away. Shit. Um, so this thing can hit me with an ice beam, but I can live it. What should I do? What should I do? You know what? Frosted Flake can definitely take a non-stab ice beam from this thing, unless it crits me. I'm going to go for the pluck here. We're just going to take that berry from you. And I eat this. I say, mmm. Tasty. I'm already holding a citrus berry anyway. Double berry. Berryception. Alright, so yeah. Frosted Flake lives that easily. Oh my god, but I get frozen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's no way. So the hail goes away. Um... Which is actually perfect, because now I can bring back in a Bomba Snow, and since I got rid of the Rindo Berry, obviously the Grass Knot <laughs> just frozen in, in time. Flying Pokemon getting frozen should just topple over. <laughs> Bat Popsicle. Um, so yeah, I, I get back up the hail here. This is important for the Golem. So, unfortunately, Ice Beam is neutral. Freaking everything is super effective or neutral against a Bomba Snow, and it crit me. So, you just love to see the luck against me here. Um, it's also nice to know that at least it can't uh, kill me with another ice cream. So we'll go for the grass knot here. We yeah, outspeed, and that'll take care of this. I love Whiskash. He's just always having a good time. Even though he's just getting bopped by some grass, he's like, that was fun. Except then he looks really sad when he dies. All right. Um, so cool. In comes the golem. This is perfect. This thing was sturdy. Could be very annoying. Um, I still don't want to take an attack from this guy, so I might even switch right into Gastrodon once again. As this thing... Hmm. It's got Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Stone Edge for damage along with Rock Polish. If it decides to Rock Polish, that's kind of annoying, but I don't think... It might actually be best. Yeah, I'm just going to switch here. It's going to go for... It's going to go for the Stone Edge here, I assume. Let's go into Crave. Definitely going to click Stone Edge. Um, I can't stay in and go for the Grass Knot here because it'll just live with Sturdy and it will get an attack off before the Hail takes care of it, so... It's Stone Edges, unfortunately, does not miss. I was kind of really hoping for a miss there, but not the case. Now it gets hit by that there hail, and it no longer has Sturdy. So Gastrodon should be able to outspeed a freaking Golem. <laughs> That's when I was already outspeeding some stuff, so Escald should take care of this thing. Um, but what I could do is recover and scout. So the last Pokemon is Hippowdon, right? I could go for either Recover or Escald here. I don't know how much an Earthquake this thing has would do to me. I'm just going to click Scald. <gasps> it's faster. Oh my god, we lived it with nine. No. Because of the hail. What? No. How the fuck did Golem outspeed me there? What the hell? <laughs> How fast was that? Okay, well, yeah, I'm 75. I'm very slow. That was really bad. Okay. Losing Gastron there kind of basically solidifies the fact that I'm going to get fucked. I was probably lower by, like, just a few points. I must have been lower by, like, literally, like, two points. It's jolly. The golem was... The golem was jolly, and that's why. Who the fuck runs jolly golem? You've got to be kidding me. Well, alright. So how to kill this... We're still going to try our best. Hippowdon. So now Hippowdon has Ice Fang, Earthquake, Crunch, and Rest. I think we just go into Gyarados here. We definitely just bring in Gyarados on the Hippowdon. You damn hippo. It does set up the Sandstorm. I literally didn't outspeed that thing because it was a jolly golem. You've got to be kidding me. God. My one objective in this battle was to not let Gastrodon die. And then that's... <laughs> and that happened. Well. Um, can I get like a, a waterfall flinch here? Or something, please? I know you could do it, Gyarados. <laughs> I did get the flinch. Nice. Alright, well. Man. I hate you, Bertha. 
I hate you so much. Well, the waterfall, waterfall takes care of that thing. I'm hopping back in my calculator to see if that was an adamant golem. I, uh... Probably would have been able to outspeed it. Maybe. Actually, maybe not. Golem's probably faster than I think. But, uh, what was it that I outsped just a minute ago with slug? And I was like, dang, I'm fast as hell. Alright, well... That takes care. She gives us the... <laughs> looks like such an awkward clap. Nice. We get our money and we're on our way. We're still doing okay. We're two members in. I've only lost one mod. This can be done. This can be done. Alright, so let's give some energy powders to you. Gotta make sure everybody's at full. And I also gotta unfreeze my damn bat. Poor guy, he's like, can you help me out here, Chief? A little powder for you. Alright. Team is healthy, we're ready to go. Next member, Flint, who Gastrodon literally takes care of entirely. And now I have to go without it. Nice. I think that if, if Gyarados can take care of the Rapidash without getting, like, hypnosis first and then hecked with, I think we'll be, we'll be okay to, we'll be okay to go on, so... Yeah, I do need to give Crobat... I'll give Crobat back his, uh... His old Citrus Berry. Well, I mean, it was Gyarados's, but, you know. Where's... Also, I was growing more Citrus Berries to bring, and they literally didn't grow in time. So, I literally have to work with the ones I got. God damn it, give. What if I accidentally just used it? <laughs> Alright, Citrus Berry. Let's do it. Let's hope... A couple things happen here. It goes for hypnosis and misses, and then I kill it with a waterfall, and then that sets me up to continue the rest of this fight. So let's do it. Ronald McDonald, what is happening, my dude? <laughs> you had me counting the days on my fingers, waiting for you to come. On your fingers, huh? You managed to light a fire, and that guy's hard again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? All right, let's do it, Flint. Let's go. God, I feel, he, he's so ugly. I hate this guy. <laughs> he looks so weird. Um, yeah, so there's the lead Rapidash. This ordinarily would be a bad matchup for me because Rapidashes generally do carry like Wild Charge. Uh, this one does not, so... Here's what I need you to do, Gyarados. I need you to hit this thing with a Waterfall and kill it. Rapidash is fast, so... Uh, and then after that, he brings in... Well, we'll see. Here we go, Waterfall. Po just goes for a Poison Jab. Do not poison me, please. God damn it! Why? <laughs> I'm getting so unlucky. Well, the waterfall kills that thing. Um, I mean, at least we didn't get put to sleep and then attacked a bunch of times, so that's okay. Being poisoned is wildly annoying. What? Clicks poison jab there. Really? Okay. So, luckily it's not a bad poison. Gyarados can still do some stuff here. Maybe. Um, in comes Steelix. Now this thing is definitely carrying Thunderfang for me, which the plan was initially to then switch into Gastrodon and then just kill it with Scalds, but I do not have that play anymore because Gastrodon literally died because it out got outsped by a little rock. Alright, um, I could go into Golem on this Thunderfang though, which doesn't seem like too bad of an idea. Uh, a couple of Earthquakes, yeah, but no, yeah, it doesn't actually, hmm. Just gonna rely on the Sturdy. I mean, my only real play is to go into Golem here. I could go into Obama Snow, but I mean, I can't really touch it. So here's what I could do. I could bring in Golem as it goes for Thunderfang here, hopefully. And then... And then I could switch into Infernape as it goes for an Iron Tail, potentially. So there's the Thunderfang, nice. Um, this thing does have Sturdy though, so actually... I think I need to at least Earthquake this thing one time. Quick Claw! Pog! It doesn't really matter. Regardless, I was gonna get that Earthquake off. So we now get to Sturdy. Uh, which is good. Critical hit. Nice. I swear. <gasps> Avoided the attack, it just straight up missed that one. That wasn't because of affection. That's amazing. Okay, so... Now, I could conserve Reese's Puffs Sturdy here. I mean, it's not gonna work because I have to sw hard switch it into an attack. Uh, maybe I just go for... We actually... 
Last golem was about fast as hell. I could set up Stealth Rock would actually be kind of nice because remaining Pokemon would be Infernape, uh, Driftbloom, and Lopunny. Two of those don't like that. So, yeah, maybe I set up Stealth Rock here. Hmm. Let's go for the Stealth Rock. There's the full restore. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We would just we would have been in the same exact situation. I wish that Sturdy worked like Focus Ash. Once it gets used, it's used up, you know? But so we get the Stealth Rock, which I actually wasn't even planning on going for in this, but that's okay. Uh, now let's just... Yeah, what if they switch into Drift Bloom on this Earthquake? There's no way, right? There's literally no way. They Iron Tail here. So we are faster, which is great, because after we get knocked to Sturdy here, maybe we actually... Oh, we only really knocked it to Sturdy because of the crit. Um, miss. Damn it. Okay, so we live with one, of course. Now, this fella does not have any... I almost want to switch into Infernape on this next Iron Tail here. Because I know I can live it, and then I have Infernape in on the next matchups. Which, does Infernape outspeed the Low Pony? Low Pony has 195 speed, which means I probably do get outsped by that thing. Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna go for a smackdown here in case they somehow decided to switch. Okay. Did not, but obviously just has one HP anyway. Wait, no, fuck! I'm literally an idiot. I'm an idiot. I overthought that. <laughs> the first one knocked it to sturdy. It was not on sturdy there. Oops. Oops, I fucked up. I thought it was on sturdy. I thought it was on one HP. So I kill, we kill Golem. <laughs> oh, God damn it, this is not going well. I was literally thinking about too many things and then forgot that it wasn't on Sturdy. Fuck me. I'm throwing. I'm throwing! <laughs> That's okay, I can go into Pebbles now. I truly don't know if Golem was even this. I mean, Golem would have been nice to have that Sturdy for the rest of the rest of the game. I'm sorry. When you throw for the content. <laughs> I really didn't throw that there. I really just didn't look at its HP because I got the fucking I got the crit the first time. Okay, well let's see. Yeah, we just go pebbles here and I'm trying to figure out if I can go power up punch on stuff. I'm sorry. Anyway, we got rid of power up punch for gas not. We just flamethrower and kill this thing. That was wildly unfortunate. Um, I definitely just should have clicked earthquake. They wouldn't have switched in the Drift Blim anyway. So yeah. My my bad, Reese's Buff. Now in comes Low Punny. Uh, Low Punny could definitely do some serious damage to me here. Um, it's working with Mirror Coat, High Jump Kick, Quick Attack, and Fire Punch. So it's probably just gonna go for the High Jump Kick here. I could switch into Frosted Flake or even Gyarados. I think if I go into Gyarados, I take a high jump kick, at least get the Intimidate, and then I can... This low is definitely faster. Everything here is like maxed out fucking speed. It's annoying. Maybe I go into Gyarados. Maybe I go into Gyarados here as it goes for the high jump kick, then I can switch back in Crobat after the Intimidate, and then just kill it with a couple... Or I just go right into Frosted Flake. I don't think I need to risk Gyarados. This is fine. This is fine. Why does he have a low punny, by the way? This guy ain't got no fire types, man. I understand, you know, you're in Sinnoh and stuff, but do better. So yeah, high jump kick does nothing to Crobat. We double resist that. It also has leftovers. What the hell? Leftover seems like a weird item to put on low punny. Um, what does it do against Frosted Flake here? It probably it has. So it has Mirror Coat, which is interesting. Uh, other than that, just quick attack and fire punch. I am going to cross poison and kill it with a crit. Cross poison's high crit chance, right? Yeah, that did literally nothing. We do get the poison though. Cool. Get fire punches. That's why it, it's it's a fire type because it has fire punch, and of course I get burnt. Literally, what the hell? What's even going on here? Why why do I have to? Anytime they go for an attack that can status me, I get status. I might even go for a Tailwind here. I'm gonna go for a Tailwind. 
They're mad that I poisoned. Okay. Luckily, I feel like low punny is generally more of an offensive threat, but this one, not so much. Um, it's gonna definitely just fire punch. Now, this is when I wish I would have kept power up punch on Infernape, because I can switch into Infernape here on this next fire punch. Uh, out speed because the tailwind's up. I mean, I didn't mock punch, I'll knock it out anyway. But having power up punch would be great because I could power up, kill it with a power up punch, and then on his Infernape, after Stealth Rock, I'm pretty sure it close combat kills. More leftovers and poison. So the good thing is it's not knocked down to. I mean, it doesn't matter that it was in full restore range anyway, but okay. With Tailwind up, your boy definitely faster. Um, I think we just kill it with a close combat, but then I'm worried about the that Infernape. Their Infernape is level uh, level 61, so we have the upper hand. We go for the close combat because we outspeed because I have the Tailwind up. Now the last Mon is their Infernape. Um, it's likely going to opt to clo- oh wait, it has Mach Punch, it might Mach Punch me on my defense is lower. I should have gone for the Mach Punch of my own on that matchup there against the Low Punny. Hmm. Driftlim is still alive, yeah. But this Driftlim doesn't have- this, this Driftlim, like, does not attack, so. It's working with Strength Sap, Minimize Baton Pass, and will it Whip, so. Can I have, like, a crit? Just kill it. Don't minimize, please. It's gonna do minimize and the baton pal. Oh no, the citrus berry is perfect too. Uh, the drift blame is the run ender, man. Just goes right for the baton pass. Into their ape. Interesting. And my tailwind is gone, so that baton pass literally worked. Okay. We're pretty hacked here. I switch into Gyarados and Intimidate it. Man, I didn't think Flint was going to be such a threat. It's cause, it's all because of my Gastrodon, damn it. Go into Gyarados here and Intimidate. Let's see what it decides to go for. Does it just close combat? It does. So now we know it's going to go for the Thunder Punch. And I don't have either my Gyarados, or I don't have either my Golem, or... My freaking Gastrodon alive. So, that's not very good. It'd be real cool if I could, if I wasn't poisoned and stuff on this Gyarados from the freaking start. Um, okay. You go into Frosted Wheat here on this Thunder Punch. Set up the hail, the hail will get a little bit of, a uh, little bit of damage off on it. Slowly but surely killing it, and then I can go... And now I could either switch back into Gyarados, get another Intimidate, and then I could bring in my Infernape. So there's the Thunder Punch. So Gyarados would be nice to be able to switch in more times, but I'm just worried because that motherfucker got so many Toxics and stuff. Bye, Samantha. Love you. So now it definitely goes for Fire Punch or Close Combat. Close Combat would be ideal. Either way, Gyarados takes whatever it goes for. We go into Gyarados again. We just gotta intimidate the hell out of this Infernape. I'm really upset that I fucked up the golden play <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> I literally took note. I was like, oh, it only knocked a distorted that first time because I got a crit. I really wish. Do you ever just wish you didn't get a crit? I don't usually. All right. This thing might even be... I, I wish you would have gone for close combat there to drop your other defense and stuff. So now it's double intimidated. I feel pretty safe in being able to go into... So I can't switch into Gyarados anymore. I now need to go into... Um, my Infernape. As it goes for the Thunder Punch here. So non-stab, double intimidated, we're probably fine. If it paralyzes me, I'll cry. Nice. Okay. So close combat from this range from my Infernape should kill it. It's, it there is still faster though. We live because of the Intimidates, thank you Jesus. And that should take care of it. But this was still an L because of, you know, losing gold. 
which Golem isn't really in the plan for the rest of the battles, but it's just so nice to have that like backup of a sturdy Golem, you know? The damn Drift Blim I keep forgetting about. Screw you, Ronald. Old McDonald had a balloon. It's not even a fire type. You did. Okay. Well, a little extra experience for the boys. Whoa! I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Quite the emotion there. Alright, so three Elite Four members down. We've lost two Mons. As long as I have Gyarados, there's a way. As long as I've got the Gera, there's a way. So, let's heal everybody up. Get, uh... Get everybody back to fight and shape. Alright, energy powders for everybody. If they didn't hate me before, now they probably do. <laughs> um, and so, now we're about to head over to Lucian. Now this is the, the team that my team doesn't do well against at all, out of like all of the members. Um, but they lead with a Mr. Mime, and the hope is that Mr. Mime goes for screens and allows me to set up Dragon Dances. My plan is to set up Hella Dragon Dances with Gyarados against their lead. Um, if I can get... If I can get four... Dragon Dances. It sounds like a lot, but if I can get four, I can knock out everything and outspeed just with Waterfall. Because there's nothing with the Focus Ash, there's no shenanigans. So, let's see how this goes. Let's head on in. I'm pretty sure even if they have a Reflect Up, after four Dragon Dances, I should be able to Poco stuff. Gyarados is the GOAT. That's why I said, as long as we got Gera, we're good. Everybody has their items. All right, let's do it. You timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, you see. Nerd, we got a nerd. <laughs> Must say, you've already proved, proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. They say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Mm, yes, indeed. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of a Hail Mary because I really don't have much for Psychic types. My team does not like them at all, um, but Gyarados needs to be able to set up the Dragon Dances against this Mime. Um, its highest damage output it could get against me is Psychic. And we gotta really hope that there's no crits or any funny business. No hacks for me, please. So. Let's go for the Dragon Dance here. I'm assuming they go for Reflect. but it, And it has Light Clay too, so it stays up for 8 turns, but it shouldn't matter. As we dance up, very nice. Oh lord, he dancing. The dancing shrimp. What does it do? It does go for the reflect. Okay, so that's fine. Now I feel like this AI is programmed to want to get up double screens. That's what this thing's here for. We dance again. He be dancing. Now it just goes for the psychic. Okay. Wish he didn't do that. But at least with leftovers, so I can definitely get to four dragon dances as long as there's no. As long as there's no nonsense. I know you want to get up light screens, Mime. I know you want the light screens. I know you want that light screen. You're thinking, man, this thing's gonna have a special attack. No! Psychics. Alright, we're fine. As long as Gyarados gives up this last dance successfully, we're good. The Last Dance, <laughs> performed by Gyarados. I know you want that light screen, Mime. Nope. We were lucky that there was no Spadef drop. All right, so Gyarados lives that. Now, at plus four, we should have the ability to Oko things and also outspeed everything. So, we go for the Waterfall against Mime here. There's no way, even behind Reflect, you live this. Easy kill. Next up will be Giraffe Rig. The thing does have Thunderbolt, but... I mean, it's not going to be able to outspeed. Plus, I do have Crunch for that thing, so... We're good. The Giraffe Rig. Shout out to when I had my Giraffe Rig. The thing is sweet. Alright. So we just go for the Crunch here. Unless I mess up my calculations, we should be good. Oh yeah. Easy. Easy. If I could get to level 66, that'd be great. This is also a great experience for Gyarados. Look at these leftovers, just putting in the most work. The most work. 
You can actually find leftovers in the underground, but you can also use Thief on uh, Munchlax as well, which is easy. Uh, so here's level 60 Metacham. This thing should as well also just die to Waterfall. Luckily, Waterfall cannot miss, <laughs> which is very nice. Metacham dies. Now the last is Alakazam, and then there's also a Bronzong. Now, Bronzong could be a little bit annoying. I don't think Bronzong goes down. But we'll have to see. So, we crunch the Alakazam. If this thing was Focus Sash, it would be really bad. It's actually Life Orb. I like that they've made this a lot harder by giving competitive items to everything. Um, that takes care of that thing. Now, Gyarados is at about half health against the Bronzong, and my crunch will probably do about 60%, maybe like 70, 80% to it. Oh, it Reflect War off. Hey, maybe. Maybe this is good, actually. I think, actually, now, without the Reflect, we're probably fine. That was eight, easy eight turns. Uh, so level 63, Bronzong. We just go right for the crunch here. Super effective. Bronzong misses the days when it wasn't weak to dark. And that takes care of it. And that is how you defeat Lucian easily. I knew that that was the only way I could really do it. Um, so we really relied on Psychic not getting Spadef Drop or crits. But we got the four Dragon Dances up. And that was the easiest battle we've had so far. And also the scariest because I didn't have any other plan other than that so <laughs> all that remains is the champion boys I should warn you the champion is far stronger than the elite four now go on step through the doorway to your final battle it is time except it's not, it is now time to heal um, just an energy powder for you do I need to use any extra PP for you how many waterfalls do I have Whatever. all right Oh god, I'm afraid. The Cynthia's theme alone, yeah, is gonna <laughs> is gonna scare me. I do not have much faith in being able to beat Cynthia, but at least I made it to the Cynthia battle, so there's still a chance. These these four mons could be. They, they could do it. They, these four mons here could do it, boys. Let's hope. 